The city of Virginia Beach will spend three million dollars for the family of uh, Donald Lynch. Of course, uh, of course, that is the story, y'all. Uh, that we all Donald Lynch. I'm sorry uh, that we've been covering shot and kill. You might remember uh, on March 26, 2021, uh, folks. Uh, this was a story that caused so much uh, consternation there. Uh, Donovan was shot and killed by Officer Solomon Simmons. Simmons claimed he shot Donovan in self-defense when he saw Donovan holding his legal gun. A grand jury determined no probable cause to warrant criminal charges against Simmons. Joining me now is the Lynch family attorney, uh, Justin Fairfax. Justin, glad to have you on the show. Uh, this is, uh, of course, um, uh, a, a, an issue that uh, you, representing the family, uh, has been really focused on. Uh, and in so many of these cases... Uh, the only way families that have any sense of justice is through a settlement because very few times officers are indicted for their wrongdoing. That's exactly right, Roland. And uh, thank you for having us on. And thank you again for following this story. Uh, we finally have justice for Donovan Lynch uh, and for his family. Uh, this has been an extraordinary journey, a uh, very painful journey for that family. But uh, we are ending where we started, which is with the truth. Uh, Donovan Lynch is innocent. Uh, he did nothing wrong that night. He did nothing illegal that night. Uh, he simply had dinner with uh, one of his best friends and was out for a you know fun night out, uh, totally innocent, uh, when he was shot and he was killed, uh, and wrongfully so. And so uh, we were going to fight for justice. I came <coughs> uh, about 60, you know, five or so days ago. The case had been going on for a very long period of time. Uh, but when they brought me in and also Thomas B. Martin, uh, my uh, co-counsel and one of the best lawyers in America, uh, we said we were going to uh, supercharge this case. We were going to litigate it. As you know, I'm a former federal prosecutor in Virginia, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, and so just last week, uh, we were very proud uh, that the city of Virginia Beach uh, reached a settlement. Uh, we'll give three million dollars uh, to the family of Donovan Lynch. Uh, and as you mentioned, there's no amount of money uh, that can make a family whole from the loss of a loved one. Uh, it's a tragedy, uh, but it also is a measure of justice. Uh, and we have to live in a society where uh, the value of our lives uh, is effectuated not just through the legal system, but through how we are treated. Uh, and so I was going to fight for justice in this case, no matter what it took. And, uh, and so we were very happy for the family. They finally, finally, finally uh, got a measure of justice. Um, and, and again, this really is the only way um, to, to achieve justice. Uh, and this, this officer, they say no probable cause. Is he still on the street? Is he still policing in Virginia Beach? Yes, uh, Roland, it's our understanding that he is uh, still a member of the force and then is still policing. And so we have been, you know, gotten word uh, about that. Uh, and so, you know, we're, we're looking at that information. But here's the other thing. Uh, we believe that the reforms need to continue. Uh, Donovan Lynch's life mattered then. Uh, it matters today. It will matter forever. And the reason that his legacy will live on is because uh, we're going to save the lives of other family members, uh, of other families who won't have to suffer the same fate uh, and the same tragedy that was suffered here. Uh, this officer did not have uh, his body-worn camera turned on uh, the time that he shot and killed Donovan Lynch. And so this family didn't even get to see uh, you know, the final moments uh, of their uh, beloved son's life. And so uh, this is an extraordinary young man, college-educated uh, really lit up the world. Uh, and so uh, we are going to honor him and honor his legacy by what we do in terms of reform. And so, as we mentioned at our press conference the other day, we're going to be reaching out to uh, President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, and we thank them for their extraordinary leadership. Uh, we would like to have the Lynch family meet uh, with the president and vice president in the White House to discuss, again, their journey, uh, discuss what they have gone through and also what they want to see going forward. Uh, we are in a powerful season of vindication. Uh, Donovan Lynch has been vindicated. His name, his legacy has been vindicated with the power of the truth. And that's what I was going to fight for uh, as the attorney uh, for this family, again, along with Thomas B. Martin. And we were going to fight to ensure that the truth was finally told, uh, that there was accountability. There had been no accountability in this case whatsoever. Uh, and we now need to live in a society uh, where there is that kind of accountability. The truth is told uh, and that justice is served. And so that's really uh, what our focus was. And in 66 days, that's what we got done. All right. Justin Fairfax, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, certainly give our best uh, to Donovan's family. Uh, we will do. Thank you, Roland. God bless you again for your leadership and for following this case. We appreciate you. 
I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, back to our brother Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 